It's K-pop reaction ah, time! Yeah! Oh, today we got something a little bit different in the K-pop world. Uh -huh. What happens if you melt K-pop, uh -huh. or in this particular case, what happens if you melt a BTS and? with fingerstock guitar? <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? <laughs> of course, it's, it's gonna be really beautifully. What do you call? <laughs> I don't know. Interpretive. <laughs> I mean, if you're not familiar with fingerstyle guitar, it's a style of playing where they use the whole guitar as an instrument. So they'll mm -hmm. add in percussions. Mm -hmm. They'll play the melody by plucking the strings. Right. It's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. There actually aren't that many people online that showcase these kind of videos. We've seen some already and they're honestly just mind blowing. But I found this one gal, Josephine Alexandra, Ooh. who has a good number of followers, like 600,000 followers already. And she does a rendition of Boy With Love in finger style. Wow. So I figure, all right, you know what? Let's check this out. That's right. And especially this time, it's going to be a woman playing. That's true. There aren't that many women that do finger style because I think the last couple people that we saw, and some of the most notable ones are guys. So mm -hmm. she is uh, one of the most popular ones out there. So clearly wow. must be very talented. So hopefully we can expose the BTS world to finger style guitar <laughs> and we can expose the finger style world to the BTS. A uh, boom. Boom. Collaboration. It's not a collab. Oh, not collab. It's not ex collab. exposure. It's melding. Melding. It's melding. Ah, oh, melding. That's a new vocabulary for me. Melding. All right. Let's watch this. Let's do it. And away we go. She looks like she's in some sort of cafe or something. Uh -huh. Art studio. Wow. That must be hard to play with the thing. I guess like the little fingers. rubber tips. I, I'm sure she does it because it makes it easier to play. She's good. She's yes. really good. That's fast. How fast she's playing. And she looks like there's nothing. Yeah. It's just one chord. She's got like spider fingers. Her fingers bend in just crazy like ways long. to be able to hit each of those strings. She's at a coffee wow. house. <laughs> Look at the background. It's all about coffee, beans, and celery. Oh my God, can you imagine walking in and having her play like that? Right. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, what's amazing about this is she's able to play both the melody and the beat at the same time. Mm. And I, I've never been able to visually see how they do it because it just goes so fast. to listen to like it feels good oh you know what i think this is filmed over several takes yeah because the people in the back are are different and on different tables i would say this is recorded Well, one of the recordings is there live to pick it up, and then the rest of it is probably oh. edited in. Wow, Incredibly wow, wow, wow. She delicious. Is so good. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's got some really interesting um, arrangements. Cover? She has one for Pug G, which is a video game, and another from Queen, and some stuff from Indonesia, Frank Sinatra. Wow, I mean, you got to go check out her channel, Josephine Alexandra. She has some really interesting variety of things that I normally haven't seen for people who do finger stuff. She must be a gamer if she's doing like video game music. She is so talented, John. However, I was waiting for her to like do the tapping. Yeah, she doesn't do as much tapping. That being said, this song is so fast, fast with a very complex melody. I never realized that until you see the fingers like where it is and how it's moving around. So maybe she needs like a six finger in order to do that. Oh, you know what? If you're a mutant, like one of those kids who were made fun of oh. because you have six fingers, you would be finger style god here. <laughs> you cuckoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no or maybe a third arm, that. like a small third, little baby a arm. arm. Right, a third, third baby arm. arm here that you could just tap. Like a, you play a little tambourine on the side. Oh, they may have made fun of you growing up. <laughs> they may have called you an X Men, but oh, you would be finger style guy That's here. That's right. You're gonna be a YouTube phenomenon. I love that she was able to cut different background to play. It's just really nice. Too. Yeah, it's actually really nicely edited. Kudos for the people who went there just to drink coffee or to have a nice quiet day because that must have taken at least three different takes as I could tell with a different camera angle and then they cut it in so really just beautifully shot and her finger style playing method she must have memorized the song that she's playing the same way every time mm. because it's one of those things where you can easily start to fall out of sync if you're offbeat just by a little bit mm. or if you start to deviate a little bit oh. she must have just like completely like memorized the song in her head. for sure because she's just like smiling and she'll turn her head over on a right and left all right if you love this kind of stuff, I know it's different than the typical K-pop music videos that we react to, but I think it'd be really interesting to explore how K-pop, and particular BTS, has started to go on global. How it now is being adopted and appreciated by so many different people, mm -hmm. and now you're seeing different types of renditions and covers and stuff like this being done. If you'd like to see more covers of music like this, let us know, and we will explore it. And you know, if you love this kind of stuff where we react to things from around the world you definitely got to go subscribe to our other main channel react to the world where we cover a lot more finger style guitar mm -hmm. performances singers and dancers and all the whole shebangy talent all over the world and that way you can ride with us traveling while sitting here right john yes lulu <laughs>